steps with this, but we need them, okay? We need them because we'll do this when we drill a lot. And if I start here, I'm in trouble, okay? I'm not gonna be able to control this guy. So make sure every time we're dropping that shoulder, we're nice and tight, we're getting to this crab ride position. Now, we've gotten to quite a few different areas. He's fighting that arm down. We've re-wristed him, okay, here. Another, another position when I get here, he'll kind of try to push back into me and then get wide with his hands on the mat. He'll put his hands on the mat, kind of start scooting back into me here. Because he knows I'm trying to kick him to one way or the other. Okay? He knows I'm trying to kick one way or the other. Now, when I get here, nothing changes whether I'm claw or half. He, he gets wide on me, hands get to the mat, I don't panic. Okay? My high hand side is still going to kick. My bottom hand side is going to post. So high hand side is going <coughs> to kick, bottom hand side is going to post. Stay on that. Okay? My bottom hand is going to come out. I'm going to go bend to elbow, bend to elbow. I'm going to kick him back over the top. Okay? Now, he's going to belly down right here. I'm in a great position to wrestle and put him on his back. Okay? Or I can stack him up. Notice, I have a half and a bar. Talk about guys that were some of the best guys on top. Logan Stever, Dylan Ness, Jason Ness. Oh, bar and a half. They killed everybody there. Okay, start your butt. So we're going to get our crab ride. He's going to get wide on me. He's going to push back into me and get his hands in the mat. Right here. Okay, I don't panic. Bottom hand foot comes to my butt. Bottom hand comes out and over. I'm going to continue to kick as I scoop that chicken wing. Now again, I could come here to my tripod and stack them up. This is much tighter, okay? I want him to belly down right now, here to this position, okay? When I get him flat on his belly, which a lot of high-end guys aren't gonna get stacked up, they're gonna belly down, okay? When I get here, I got quite a few options. We're gonna stay bar in half, my elbows are pinching. Like I'm pulling my elbows back to my ribs, and I'm gonna roll, to my half side and stack them up. I'm gonna roll to my half side and then stack them up right here, okay? And we're gonna stop right there. I'm gonna talk about how we pin that guy with a half and a bar. It's a little bit different than when we just had our half and our thigh prop, okay? So, this guy gets wide. He's trying to get his hips up and kind of make me panic a little bit, all right? Again. All I gotta do is get my feet in the mat. So he's starting to get wide. High hand side, still gonna kick. Bottom foot side in the mat. Arm out, elbow bend to elbow bend. Notice I'm pushing off my foot, elevating. I can stack him up here. A lot of times that guy will belly down. I secure everything nice and tight. And I roll to the half side. Driving with my feet, rolling to the half side. Punching the mat. Okay, my half hand punches the mat straight down. And we're gonna stop right here and get our criteria. Stay right there. When I'm punching the mat, him bellying down, he's gotta break my forearm, okay? That's why I punch the mat right here, knuckle straight in the mat. When I just have a half, he fights my elbow, my shoulder, he can win that position. When I punch the mat, he's gotta break my forearm to belly down, okay? So when we straddle, and float over the top, boom, knuckle straight down to the mat. I'm thinking about looking, 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 punch the mat, okay? Okay, Barry, face this way. 